episode of the foodie vlog so today in my kitchen i am making one of my favorites and it's mashed potatoes it's super easy to make it's delicious and uh, it's something that you can have with anything and everything so yes let's head to my kitchen and let's get started so i've taken some peeled and boiled potatoes here and what i'm going to do is i'm going to start mashing it one by one so i'm just going to keep the rest of the potatoes aside now i'm going to mash this you have to make sure that uh, it's mashed properly so i'll mash the rest of the potatoes now so we have mashed the potatoes but uh, we need to mash it even more so i'm going to pass it through a sieve so i've taken another bowl i've placed a sieve on top of it and now i'm going to add the potatoes now what i have to do is i have to mix it like this i have to press it against the sieve so again this you will have to add in batches what this does is that it gives us very finely mashed potatoes as you can see i already have uh, some mashed potatoes here this is basically the trick to make the perfect mashed potatoes if you pass it through a sieve then it turns out perfect the end product turns out perfect I have to keep doing this until this part clears and it passes through the sieve. So you can see we have the potatoes here and this is the one that we're going to use. So I'm just going to remove it and take it out in a bowl. And just to show you it has turned out very soft and uh, this is how we actually want it. So I'm going to finish the rest of the batch. I finished mashing all the potatoes together and this is how it looks. So now we're going to go to our next step. So I have heated a pan. To this I'm going to add some butter. And I'm going to add half cup of milk. To this I'm going to add the mashed potatoes. and i'm going to give it a mix so that the potatoes combine well with the milk make sure you keep the flame on low so as you can see it has started combining well with the milk to this i'm going to add some salt this is as per your taste and i'm going to add some very finely chopped parsley so your mashed potatoes are ready i'll just take them out on a serving plate so this is my final product of mashed potatoes i've topped it up with a cube of butter 